The morning drive yesterday, I should say, in Cedar Rapids. The entire a tornado warning has been issued for our area. Water log that any amount of rain is likely too much rain. You can see the drivers wading through that awfully high water. Uh, plenty of uh, police out there. Are they dealing with the aftermath of people who did decide to drive in water that was too high and trying to warn others to not do that? Flood threat remains across portions of Kansas and Missouri, even into the St. Louis metro area. So tonight into early tomorrow, flash flood watch in effect for many of these areas as heavy rain works in this afternoon and evening. Could get some really heavy downpours in a place like St. Louis. So tomorrow morning, you may wake up to find that some of those areas have some high water. More so, I think, during the overnight hours. So if you're... Uh, one of those people who, you know, work a really early shift, you might find yourself out there on the roads 2, 3 a.m. Be aware that there could be some high water, so slow down. Uh, a lot of times it's really tough to see overnight. That adds an extra danger because it's hard to make out where the water is covering the roadways. By tomorrow afternoon, you can still see some scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area. A tornado so, warning yeah, has been issued for our area. A storm that moves right over your area, bringing some heavy rain. That could worsen some flooding issues. Tomorrow, our cold front sinking south, so our front, that lift, that focusing mechanism for some shower and thunderstorm development, that warm, moist air, that's going to want to rise. Easily lifted by that front. You squeeze out that moisture and you get some heavy downpours across the region. So tomorrow and then into early Friday, we again watch portions of Missouri as well as Kansas and Oklahoma for the possibility of flash flooding, Mike. That's not the only spot. Oh, there you are. You know, Hi. We, we talk about the south, too. I yeah. mean, there, there are plenty of areas across the south where heavy rain has plagued us for days and days and days. New Orleans, you've been one of those uh, cities under the gun. That's a live look over the Mississippi River right now, and it's very cloudy for us presently. I mean, the good news is not raining right now in New Orleans. Can't say the same for a place like Baton Rouge, where the showers have set over top of us for quite some time today. But in New Orleans, 86 degrees with cloudy skies. Not much of a wind for you right now, but over at least the next 24 hours, if not well into your weekend, we'll have issues here. You can see a general broad area spin here, a flow coming in this direction and flow coming in this direction. So that means you've got a low that's parked generally right in here. And there have been some flood warnings for us today in Mississippi. Now through the day tomorrow, through tonight, through the day tomorrow, you're going to see the storms remain. They're going to wax and wane overnight tonight. Some stability to the air once the sun sets and the, the storms will back off tomorrow. They come right back though. 11 o'clock in the morning, you can see I'm starting to fire here and now pushing their way, marching their way from the Gulf right into the southern states here. And that's a pattern that's going to be there because you look at this. This is uh, midweek through late week. Really deep tropical moisture in the atmosphere. Okay, so all these areas that are highlighted. A tornado warning has been issued for our area. Available precip to come out of the clouds, if you will. And look how.